Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up everybody? Eva94 bringing another action figure review. Today we're going to take a look at the Bandai Tamashii Nations SH Figure Arts Iron Man 2. This is Iron Man Mark 4. This is a web exclusive. As we can see, the box does not show a window uh, so you can see the figure. It's all covered. This is what they do normally with these Marvel uh, figures that are web exclusive. So finally, uh, our next piece to our Hall of Armor uh, series of figures that we're getting to finally complete the Hall of Armor of the first seven suits. And this is the Mark IV. Now this suit doesn't get a lot of love because I didn't get a lot of screen time either. Uh, I came out towards the beginning of uh, Iron Man 2 and then he quickly changed the suit to the, the one with the triangle arc reactor on his chest. Uh, so we didn't get to see him much and plus it wasn't such a big upgrade from the Mark 3. They almost look a little similar. So that's why it doesn't really look all too different. But anyways, here's the front of the package. Here is the side, and then here's the other side. If you guys are interested, you guys can pick this uh, up at BigBadToyStore.com. He comes with the Hall of Armor piece since it is going to be the U.S. release on BigBadToyStore.com. So keep that in mind. That price includes the figure and the Hall of Armor piece, which is pretty decent in my book. So check that out. There's a link in the description below. Here's the back of the box. We have... Uh, Iron Man in some various poses and then we also do get an accessory piece of a box of donuts which is awesome and what's funny they don't really promote or display the unmasked head on the back they don't even show it in the option parts section down here so that's pretty interesting they do kind of show right here um, right there but that's it I don't know but it's a nice little surprise I guess in case you guys aren't following this or weren't following this up to the release and this guy out the box and see how he looks the box and once again bandit tamashi nations does not let us down they always always do such a great job with iron man figures and this one is no different at all so as you can see he looks great he looks just like iron man looks just like the suit the colors are amazing the paint is perfect that metallic uh paint they use on the figure looks great the, pla the whole figure is plastic except for the feet are always die cast they tend they tend to do that only the feet is die cast so that's pretty Pretty good. I like I like it. It's got some weight to it thanks to those feet. And he's a pretty pretty sturdy figure. No loose joints or nothing like that so far. So let's move him aside and take a look at the accessories right now. He comes with quite a few. All right, first we'll start off with the alternate head. Uh, we do have a regular Robert Downey Jr. Tony Stark head here, and then we have a face plate that is with the glasses here, which he wore while he was eating the donuts in the Iron Man 2 scene when he was at Randy's Donuts. Uh, so this is just a face, so this one separates, and then you're going to have to use the back of this head uh, for for this one right here. So there's that. They look good. They look like them. I think they did a pretty, pretty good job there, so I like that. And then we do have, of course, the donuts here. So there are the donuts, four donuts inside. Uh, no logo or nothing on the box. And the donuts are not removable, uh, so that, that sucks. You can't put a donut in his hand, which they, they should have done that at least, you know, why not? Uh, but they did not and I'm sure you can pry one of these out of there and somehow make it seem like he's eating it uh, if you're really wanting to do that. A extra donut with a maybe a bite into it would have been a nice added touch. He does come with an extra neck peg which is for when he you put the unmasked head of course you can see the neck. We have our standard effects here so our feet effects our repulsor blast effects and then the shorter versions of those repulsor blast effects. Here are the two open hands with the peg so you can peg those effects into our standard straight flying hands here or saluting hands and then we do have regular open hands here as you notice uh each hand has a peg hole on the on the top of the hand because the hand guard must be shared with all these hands. They do not have their own. We also have done this before, which is for the back of the calves on his legs. So it can open up right there. You can choose to have that. And then the flaps on his back also. There's an extra open flap. And there you have all the accessories. A closer look at Iron Man, we can see the design of the suit here. Pretty nice. Got the big repulsor. Or the big arc reactor, sorry, on his chest. And it's not colored, which sucks. I don't know why they don't do that. That's one thing they should do is uh, color the, the arc reactor. They just leave it silver. Kind of weird because it is supposed to be lit up. At least put a blue in there and that would be enough. But here, going down to the legs. 
and there's overall there's a good up and down view of the figure and then let's get in real quick we get in the mark 3 which was the suit pre previous to this and but very subtle changes of course the color is different and then you can see the chest somewhat different the legs i feel like the thighs are the main difference here let's see focus As for the articulation of the figure, we're pretty familiar with this. The head goes left and right, it goes up and down. The neck articulates like crazy on this one. Uh, the arms go forward and back, they go in and out. We do have a socket right there for the shoulder. There's a bicep swivel, a hinged shoulder pad right there. Uh, double jointed elbows. There is a swivel at the wrist with a hinge there. I believe that's just a ball joint, but it still hinges down, or I guess moves down like, like a hinge. We do have a diaphragm joint that swivels, goes forward and back. Also a waist that swivels and goes forward and back right there. So good torso movement here. We do have legs that go forward and back. They do drop down as a figure or style, so it allows more movement. It does hold its own, so that's good. It goes in and out as well. We have a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, Ankles go forward and back. There is an ankle pivot, and we have a toe hinge. We got him next to the Civil War version of the SH Figure Arts Iron Man here. So you can see major difference there, but of course we do share uh, the same quality and paint and detail that you know Bandai loves to uh, give us here. So I like that. This one is the Mark VI, but this is the Japan exclusive. Uh, black and gold one which isn't official for any movie but there he is next to him there this one is not figures this is the mark 7 figma iron man here and i has yet to make the mark 7 for figures but he should be coming next seeing that we are completing the hall of armor we're only missing mark 1 and mark 7 so this is the mark 7 is what he looks like so expect this from bandai and i'm pretty excited to see because this was my favorite of course very actually Actually, Hasbro hasn't made it either. I don't know why they skipped out on Mark 7, which is the one from Avengers. So that's quite odd, but they did skip out on Mark 7, and we're finally getting them now because Hasbro is making a Mark 7 as well. So something Hasbro did do is they did make the Mark 4 before anyone else, and here he is. They actually made an unmasked version as well with glasses. So they were the first one to do this, I guess, in 6-inch form. So there you have him. And of course, Hasbro's Marvel Legends always stand taller than SH Figure Arts, so that's why he's taller. And once you remove the shoulder pads, I guess, or the shoulder pieces, so you can put the back flaps on right here, uh, we do get some more detail that's hidden underneath the, uh, the armor here. We've got some silver paint there and some sculpt going on here, so that's pretty nice for them to do. And that just comes out very nice. Once you attach the alternate shoulder pads or the the flaps the back flaps here you get this look and it looks fantastic i think that's such a great great look looks nice just adds some more fun to the action figure and it doesn't end there we do get some more detail once you remove the other flaps on his calves uh down below behind his legs we do get some good detail back here we've seen this before so this isn't anything new but this it's still a nice thing to have it still gives a good look and just some more fun to the figure and here we have him with the alternate head, and there's no denying, this looks great. I mean, I really, really am liking this look. They did a great job. I mean, this this head is on point, I think. They did, I don't think they could have changed it in any other way. I think they really, really, really did a good job. They improved it since just the regular Tony Stark. That one looked like him too, but uh, this one I think is just 100% Robert Downey Jr. And here is more of a top-to-bottom look of him. You want to see him and the rest of the armor there. As for the hair, they're still going with this gold highlight type thing that they've been doing with all of their figures. All of their, I guess, regular hair figures. If you look at their Star Wars, uh, Luke Skywalker has it as well. So does Han Solo and Anakin. Just anybody with regular hair. I, I don't know why they like adding this brown slash um, goldish color to it. It's just kind of weird. Not too bad on the front, it's more on the back, you can see there, it's craziness on the back. But it's okay, it's not too bad. And there you have the regular Tony Stark from the Iron Man 3. And yeah, maybe they had different haircuts, uh, that's probably a thing, because they do change that too, uh, between both movies. So maybe that's why the hair is different. But I don't know if I had to choose, I, I have to go with the uh, the new one here. This looks great, Looks looks. they both look like them, don't get me wrong, but I mean this new one is... It's nice. And then now seeing these two next to each other, almost looks like this neck is a little fat. I don't know if it's because the way it's at, but the neck looks fatter on this one. And there we have him with the alternate 
glasses on face here, which is what he wears while he has the donuts in that one specific scene. So this is just an extra uh, added bonus, I feel like. My main intention with all these armors which was to get the Hall of Armor all set up and built. Uh, don't get me wrong, I would have probably bought these anyways if the Hall of Armor was not in existence. I just think it's cool that Bandai did add these alternate unmasked heads because we don't get an unmasked head with every Iron Man as much as we would like to. What's cool too, if you tilt his head down, don't see if it picks it up. Uh, you can see the eyes. The eyes are there too, so they didn't just black out the eyes or anything like that. Uh, it's painted. Yeah, you can't see it. It's painted in everything. You can see he's looking forward. Alrighty, guys, and that concludes my review of the SH Figure Arts Web Exclusive by Bandai Tomashi Nations. This is the Iron Man Mark IV. This is without the Hall of Armor since this is the Japanese release, so keep that in mind. The US release will have the Hall of Armor, so if you guys are building that together, uh, this is yet yeah, the next addition to the Hall of Armor, so it's very exciting. And as an Iron Man fan myself, I am extremely happy about this figure. This figure, as soon as they announced it coming with the Tony Stark head, the glasses head, the donuts, that just, man, that just... That was just perfect. I love it. I, this is why I love Bandai and what they do with SH Figuarts. Just absolutely just great. I love it. This figure is, as you can tell, you know. <laughs> uh, well, what else can I say? I can't just keep repeating myself. So anyways, go out and pick this guy up if you haven't done so already. I did hear some of the ones from Japan did sell out. So just to be better safe than sorry, pick one up now. At least pre-order it. And you still have some time before it comes out in the U.S. to make your decision if you want to carry on with it. But this is a great figure and I do highly recommend it. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys would like. And don't forget to have a great day. Bye.